our lesson for today is all about again random variables and discrete probability distribution so our learning learning objectives is to learn the concept of a random variable and to learn the distinction between discrete and continuous random variables okay again a random variable is a numerical quantity that is generated share pa lang ha nakita na ba class yes sir yes po oh. ayan nakita na opo okay, okay. random variable it is based on chance the outcome of the experiment denoted by x syempre hindi lang naman x pwede ring y pwede ring z so it, it's up to us na pero common na sa atin na kapag ginagamit natin yung x di ba Okay, again, random variable is a numerical quantity that is generated by random experiment. So, yung mga experiment na sinasabi natin dito, class, ay hindi naman ito katulad nung experiment na kailangan natin ng test tube. Yan, ganyan. Hindi naman ganun, okay? So, ipag-usapan natin dito is more on more on probability and statistics. So, example lang experiment kanina, may nagbangkit kanina, roll two fair dice. Example yun, di ba? Ano pa? Yung flip a pair coin repeatedly. Katulad nung kanina, yung nagagawa. Measure the voltage of an electrical outlet. So, example rin yun ng experiment. So, maraming experiment na pwedeng i-consider, no? <clears throat> Operate a light bulb until it burns out. So, those are examples of an experiment. Okay? So, now, we have two uh, kinds of random variable. We have uh, discrete and continuous random variable. Okay? A uh, random variable is called discrete if it's possible values from a finite or countable set. Nabibilang lang siya. Nabilang lang. Okay? Then, a random variable is called continuous if it's possible values contain a whole interval of numbers. So, yung keyword para ma laman natin na kung discrete ba or continuous ang isang random variable. Kapag random kapag continuous, measurable, kapag discrete, countable. Okay, yun yung keyword. Sa random variable kasi class, let's say sa tossing a coin dito. Sa single uh, sa single toss ng coin, alam natin di ba na na meron lang itong two possible outcomes. Side head, head or tail, di ba? So, this one. Kapakita natin. No? Okay. Pag sinabi kasi natin random variables, ito yung, ito yung, ano, ito yung possible values are numerical outcomes of a random event. Okay. So, for example, sabi sa event, kasi, ano ba yung pinagkaiba ng experiment sa event? Okay. So, experiment, for example, a tossing a coin two times. Sa event, a getting getting exactly two heads. So, yung, yung event. Okay? Get, getting exactly two heads. So, doon sa event, papasok tayo doon sa event, which is getting exactly two heads, mag assign na tayo ng, ng numerical values kung ilan yung head doon sa mga possible outcomes. Yun yung, ano, yun yung random variable na sinasabi, no? So, pag sinabi natin kasing variable, nasanay tayo na sa algebra, di ba? Na uh, may equation, syempre. Kung may equation, syempre may, may variable, katulad ng x. Kung baka yung kinasanayan natin eh. Pero, itong random variable na to, sa statistics and probability, ay different from sa subject na algebra. Okay? Yes, variable siya x, pero, titingnan mo sa problem. Kung mahalaga dito, kung ano yung event. Tapos, doon kayo focus sa event. Okay? So, dito. Tas, okay, dito tayo. Balik ulit tayo dito sa ano, problem. Sa single toss ng coin. So, we know that we, are, we, are, we have two possible outcomes. It's either head or di ba? So ngayon, uh, kapag sinabi ko na, kapag sinabi sa event na, okay, uh, getting head. So pwede natin, pwede tayong mag-assign ng, ng numerical values or numer numerical values dito. Kung baga, i-ano natin, no? i-quantify natin dito sa certain random event. Okay? So, let's say, getting head. Ang dalawa lang naman yung possible outcomes, di ba? So pwede kong sabihin, ito si 1, ito si 0. So, balik tayo dun sa problem. Example number one. A fair of coin is tossed three times. List the outcomes of the experiment. So, meron tayo tinatawag class na sample space. Okay? Sample space, 
it is the least of all possible outcomes. Okay? So, dito, nag-toss tayo ng coin three times. So, ilan yung possible outcomes class? So, alam natin, di ba, sa single toss ng coin, meron tayong two possible outcomes. We have uh, H, T. Sa unang toss pa lang yan. Ngayon, kung susundan natin ng another toss, kung nakuha natin head sa una, again, pwede siyang masundan ulit ng head or tail. Since dalawa yung possible outcomes kapag nag-toss tayo ng coin. Ganyan din naman, kung tail ang nakuha natin, eh, pwede natin masundan din ng head tsaka tail. Okay. So, pangalawang toss pa lang yan. So, sa pangatlong toss, kung nakuha natin HH, pwede masunda ng H or T. Same lang din dito, and same lang din dito. Okay? So, we have this one. So, yung possible outcomes, we have uh, eight possible outcomes. Okay? So, ano yung mga yun? Isin natin ha, we have HHH, HHT, HTH, HTT, THH, THH, THT, TTH, tsaka TTT. Okay, 8 possible outcomes. So, 2, 4, 6, 8. Ayan. So, ayan. Nasagot na natin yung example number 1. Nasabi naman kasi dito, list the outcomes of the experiment. So, example number 2. Let the random variable X denoted the number of heads that occur, occur in the three tosses. Find the value assigned to each outcome of the experiment by the random variable x. Ito yung karugtong ng example number 1 natin. So since meron na tayong uh, nalis na natin yung mga possible outcomes, yan, itong walong ito, so mangyayari dito, uh, ano yung random variable x natin dito? Okay, number of heads that occur in three tosses. Okay, so dito na tayo sa list of outcomes, yan, sa list of possible outcomes natin. So, lagyan natin ng outcomes. Ito na yung outcomes natin sa factors ng coin three times. Then, uh, yung random variable x natin is number of heads. Getting the number of heads. So, bibilangin nyo lang, no? Head, oh, magkikita nyo tatlong head. So, 3, HHT, 2, HTH2, HTT1, THH2, 1, 1, 0. Okay? Pwede, na, pwede rin naman sabihin natin na yung random variable x natin is number of tails. Okay? Pero this time, sinabi naman kasi number of tails. Okay? Depende sa random variable. Okay? So, yan. So, yung nakikita yung mga number dyan na pwede i-assign dun sa value ni x, which is yung number of heads, makikita nyo ano-ano yung mga number na nakikita nyo class. Yan yung mga numbers na pwede natin i-assign dun sa value of x natin, which is yung, which is yung random variable. Okay? Number of heads. So, nasagot na natin yung sa number 1. Number 2 tayo. Find the event comprising the outcomes to which two heads occur. Titingnan nyo yung, ano, yung uh, mga outcomes. Yan, yung walong na yan. Sabi, two heads occur. We have HHD. Yung may dalawang heads lang, ha? Yan, THH. Okay, yun. Yun na yun. Yun na yung sagot sa number 2. Okay? Example number 3. List all the possible outcomes if an experiment consisting of casting a die. A single roll ng die. Ano ni mga possible outcomes? 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, inisay-isay natin yung mga possible outcomes. Kapag nag-roll tayo ng die. Number 2. What is the probability that even number occurs on top? Kapag sinabi ng probability, event over total number of outcomes. So, dyan, ano ba yung, ano yung mga even, even numbers dyan? Okay, 2, 4, 6. Natlo lang naman, di ba? Out of 6. So, we have 2, 4, 6. Yan yung mga even numbers natin. 2, 4, 6 out of, out of 6. So, we have 3 out of 6 or 1 half. Okay? So, the probability of uh, getting that even numbers occurs on top is 1 half. Number 3, what is the probability that 5 occurs? Okay, 1 over 6. Hindi isa lang naman yung 5 dyan, di ba? So, 1 over 6. Number 4. List all the sample space S when tossing a pair of dice. Meron na tayong 2 dice dyan, okay? Ano kayo mga possible outcomes kapag mag-toss tayo ng pair of dice? 
ano na yung mga possible outcomes. Sige nga. Kung kanina, isang day, isang day lang yun, di ba? Merong six possible outcomes. Ngayon naman, kung dalawa, two days naman to, ano na yung mga possible outcomes? Isa-isahin natin. Pero bago natin isa-isahin, ilan yun? Alas, may idea kayo? Since meron tayong dalawang days dyan, na kapag yung sa single toss nga ng day, merong six possible outcomes, so since dalawa yan, 6 times 6, 36. So, ano-ano yung mga yun? Isa-isa natin. Okay? So, gagawa tayo ng sample space S. So, ano yung unang possible outcomes? Pwedeng 1-1. One, 1-2. One. One, two. One, two. Okay? So, all of we have uh, 36 possible outcomes. Okay? Uh, 6 rows, 6 columns. Ayan. From 1-1, one, 1-6. One, one, so, yan na yung sagot natin sa number 4. Yan yung mga possible outcomes sa pwedeng lumabas dun sa uppermost phase ng dalawang dice natin. Okay, kapag nirol natin. At dito tayo, proceed tayo sa number 4. Uh, what is the probability of an event of drawing a heart from a deck of 52 playing cards? So para sa kaalaman ng iba, uh, ano nga ba meron sa baraha class? Yan ba yung mga characters dun sa baraha? So, meron tayong detail dito ang uh, number, number cards, tama? Okay, sama ko na rin yung ace sa uh, number cards. So, ace hanggang 10, di ba? So, meron tayo yung detail na face cards, yung jack, queen, king. Press sila, sila, no? 13. Then, sa bawat uh, for every face card at saka number cards natin, meron tayong apat na klase. Yung detail natin na uh, spade, uh, club, saka heart, heart at uh, diamond. Okay? So, apat sila. Sa so, 30 na yun, ng face card at number card, 13, 13. So, yung total nila ay 52. Okay? So, what is the probability of an event of throwing a heart from a deck of 52 playing cards? So, tanong doon, ilan, ilan ba yung ilan ba yung heart? We have 13 out of 52. 52. 52. So, pwede bang simplify? Yes. Okay? Divisible naman yung numerator tsaka denominator sa 13. So, that will be equal to 1 fourth. Okay? So, 13 over 52 or 1 fourth. Okay, ito tayo. Sa paggawa ng table, ng discrete Probability distribution. The probability of each value x is a value between 0 and 1. So, yung mga probabilities na pwede natin makuha ay between 0 and 1. Okay? Wala, naman, wala naman tayong probabilities ng mga negative numbers at wala din naman tayong probabilities na greater than 1. And probability of random variable x that is greater than or equal to 0 but less than or equal to 1. Okay, dito tayo. Example number one. Let x denote the random variable that gives head when tossing a coin three times. So, based dun sa kanina sa binigay ko nung sa example number two, uh, nilist natin yung outcomes tsaka yung random variable x, this one. Okay, same lang yun ha. Tinoss yung coin three times. Same lang yung problem dito. So, yan. Yan yung mga outcomes, yung walo. Tapos yung random variable x natin dito ay yung number of heads. So, yan yung mga, yung mga naka-assign na number sa ating random variable. So, we have 0, 1, 2, and 3. So, ito yung mga, ano, di ba? Ito yung mga number na naka-assign sa ating random variable x. So, 0, 1, 2, and 3. So, dun naman sa pangalawang row, probability of random variable x. Okay? Again, yung random variable x natin dito, ito yung number of heads. Okay. Now, this one. What is the probability of getting no heads. Probability. We're talking about probability. Bakit naging 1 over 8 plus? Isa lang naman dun yung walang heads, di ba? Yung tatlong P. Okay? Yan. Out of 8. 1 over 8. Next. Probability of getting exactly 1 head. Okay, 3 over 8. Tatlo kasi dun. Yung oh, 1 head pala. Sorry. We have HTT, PHT, tsaka PTH. 3 out of 8. Okay? So, how about this one? 
probability of getting exactly two heads. Okay, three over eight then. So, mapapansin nyo tatlo yan. Tatlo yung two. Okay, so three out of eight. Three out of eight. Yan. Isa lang naman yun, no? H, H, H. Okay, take note. Okay, sa probability distribution table, ito yung ano, ito yung characteristics then. The sum of all probabilities is always equal to 1. Let x denote the random variable that gives the sum of the dots on the uppermost face when two fair dice are cast. Find the probability distribution of x. Kanina, uh, nilist natin yung, yung possible outcomes doon sa uh, casting two fair dice. Ito, this one. 36. Mapapansin nyo naman, di ba, na yung random variable x natin gives the the sum of the dots on the uppermost face. Yun yung i-assign natin as random variable. Okay? So, gagawin natin siya ng probability distribution table. So, kapag kinuha natin ba yung sum doon sa uppermost face, ano yung minimum sum na makukuha natin? Okay, 2. Which is yung sa 1. 1. Ito. Makikita nyo dyan, plus maximum sum. Okay, 12. 12. So, from 2 to 12. Pwedeng 3, pwedeng 4, hanggang 12. Okay, so, yun na. I-assign natin ng mga values ni X. Hindi pwedeng 0, hindi pwedeng 1. Kasi yung random variable X natin ay sum on the uppermost face. Tapos, yung probability naman. Okay, sabi natin, alam natin, di ba, na meron tayong 36 possible outcomes kapag nag-cast tayo ng two fair dice. Meron tayong 36 possible outcomes. So, the question is, ano yung probability na makakuha tayo ng, ng sum ay 2? So, out of 36 class, we have 1 over 36. How about yung 3? Ang sum ay 3. 1, 2, 2, 1. one. Okay, talawa. So, we have 2 over 36. 36. How about yung 4? 3 po. Okay, 3. Tatlo yun. 2, uh, 1, 3, 3, 1, saka 2, 2. Okay? So, 3, 6. 3 over 36 pala. How about yung sum ay 5? 4 over 36. 6. Five. 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 Seven. Six. Six. Four. Six. Eight. Eight. So five. How about nine? Some nine. Ten. Three. Four. Three. 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 Eleven. Two. 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 Four. Two. Two. Twelve. One. 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 So, yeah, may, may mga corresponding probabilities na, na makikita nyo dyan from 2 to 12. Okay? So, the check class, the check class, kung tama nga ba yung ginagawa nyo, is punin nyo yung sum ng bawat probabilities. At yun, kukunin nyo yung sum nito mga to. Dapat equal po siya sa, sa 1 kapag kinuha nyo yung sum niyan. Pero, class, hanggat maaari, class, na... Ito mga fractions na to, katulad nito, 2 over 36, i-simplify nyo. Okay, number 3 tayo. The table below shows the number of cars observed waiting in line at the beginning of 2-minute intervals between 3 p.m. and 5 p.m. on a certain Friday at a drive-in teller in Westwood Savings Bank with the corresponding frequency of occurrence. Find the probability distribution of the random variable X that denotes the number of cars observed waiting in line. So, yan. Ayan na yung ating random variable x, which is yung number of cars. Yan, binigay na. Kaya lang, doon sa second row, hindi siya probability. That is frequency of occurrence. So, paano natin siya kagawa ng probability distribution table plus? So, yun yung magiging denominator natin. Okay? Yung total frequency is 60. Kunin nyo yung sum nitong mga to, doon sa frequency, yan. Total nyo na yung 60. Tapos, itong mga numbers na nakikita nyo dyan, yan yung numerator. Okay? Tapos, yung denominator, yung total. So, ayan na po yung kanyang probability distribution table. Okay? 8 over 60, 6 over 60, at take note last na kung may kailangan i-simplify, simplify natin. Okay? Kung hindi na, wala tayong magagawa dyan.